Welcome to Show Off Showdown! In this series, the fighters are called Show Offs, and this is the series for the Show Off Showdown! Now let's meet the Show Offs for tonight's Showdown, shall we? Now, get ready for a battle so epic it'll make you wet your pants! Cause tonight, we have a battle between two powerful splashing female fighters who are guaranteed to make you wet! That's right, Lapis vs. Juvia! Who will win, and who will drown? It's time to find out! I put links to the analysis on both characters in the description below! Now without further ado, it's time for the Show Up 2 Showdown! Get ready for the next battle! Fight! Wow, now that's what I call splashing! Now let's discuss how and why Lapis wins this watery epic showdown. 
Now this sort of debate is a little more complicated when you take a first look at it, mainly because, as we all know, Lapis and Juvia both have the ability to control water, which is exactly what makes them both stronger. You know the phrase, fight fire with fire, right? Well, this is exactly like that, except both girls are essentially fighting water with water. So when we look at the basics, it seems that neither character has a way to kill the other with water alone. So, in order to break this matchup down, we're gonna need to rise above the water and find out who has the advantages in other categories first. First off, let's discuss who is more skilled and experienced. Well, to be honest, this first category is kind of a no-brainer, mainly because Juvia is only 18 years old, while on the other hand, Lapis is technically immortal and she literally has over 5,000 years more experience than Juvia. Enough said. Now let's discuss speed. Now while Juvia has been able to react to attacks traveling over 500 miles per hour, and it's possible that she might even be able to move at the speed of sound, more or less. Lapis, on the other hand, is on a whole other level when it comes to speed. Lapis is fast enough to fly from one planet to another in a very short amount of time while carrying Steven. This alone makes Lapis much faster than the speed of light. I know this is travel speed, but it could possibly also give her an edge in combat speed as well. Either way, Lapis clearly has a massive edge in speed over Juvia. Now here's where it gets interesting. Let's discuss their water powers. Now like I said before, Lapis and Juvia both have the ability to control water, which makes this kind of a fight water with water type of fight. But who has the superior water powers? Well, let's find out. Okay, so as we all know, Juvia has the ability to transform her body into water at will. Now, this is something that she actually has to do consciously, and this can have both an upside and a downside to it for this battle. If Juvia is in her water form, the upside is that Lapis's water won't be able to hurt Juvia since she's made of water. But the downside to that is that Lapis will most likely be able to control and manipulate Juvia's body, although I'm guessing most of you have probably already predicted this before the battle even came out. Now if Juvia is in her physical form, the upside to that is that Lapis won't be able to control or manipulate her body, but the downside to that is that Juvia will be left exposed and more vulnerable to physical attacks, and she can actually be physically damaged. So that isn't exactly a good method for fighting Lapis, especially if Juvia can't react fast enough to Lapis's attacks to counter them. I've already mentioned the massive speed advantage Lapis has over Juvia, haven't I? Now Lapis and Juvia have very similar water-based attacks, such as water bubbles, for example. Now, Juvia might possibly have a greater variety of water-based attacks than Lapis, but Lapis has done far greater things with her hydrokinesis than Juvia has. With her hydrokinesis, Lapis was able to gather up all the water in the entire world's oceans and form it into a gigantic tower that was tall enough to reach Earth's atmosphere. The escape velocity of Earth is about 11.2 kilometers per second, so this will be over 20.5 exatons. Not only that, but having the strength to lift all the water in the world and keep it in that shape of a tower like that means that Lapis has the strength to lift exactly 1 quintillion 450 quadrillion tons of water. Now I know that Lapis used her powers for this task rather than her physical strength, however this just means that her powers can still lift that much water. I think it's safe to say that this feat easily far outclasses anything that Juvia has ever done. Besides, because Lapis is far faster and has limitless stamina due to her being a gem, there's a great chance that Juvia will eventually run out of magic power and won't be able to use it again for a while. Also, I'd like to see how Juvia would do against a watery clone of herself. Now, the only way Juvia could kill Lapis is if she destroys the gem on Lapis' back, but doing so will be essentially impossible for three reasons. One, Juvia doesn't have prep time, so she wouldn't know to do that. Two, pretty much all of Juvia's attacks are water-based and completely ineffective against Lapis, and Lapis can just take all of Juvia's attacks and throw them back at her. And three, Juvia just doesn't have enough strength or power to destroy her since Lapis also has a major advantage in durability. Lapis has survived being inside a spaceship that re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and crash-landed, and she has survived the resulting massive explosion, which has been estimated to be over 9.7 teratons. Not only that, but Lapis has even survived taking hits from Jasper, who has been estimated to be at island level in terms of destruction. Enough said. Now once again, it is true that Lapis's water attack cannot harm Juvia's water form, but once again, Lapis can use her hydrokinesis to control and manipulate Juvia's liquefied body. Not only that, but Juvia's body can also be frozen, as seen in her battle with Grey. Now, is Lapis able to freeze Juvia's body just like Grey can? Well, Lapis can use a special ability called Matter State Manipulation, which she can use to change the state of water and turn water into ice. So, what do you think? Now, once Lapis realizes that she can't kill Juvia with water alone, she'll know that she needs to find a different method of doing so. And if you ask 
ask me, I think one of the best methods of finishing off Juvia is for Lapis to take control of Juvia's body, pick her up and carry her into space, and then toss her all the way into the sun, evaporating Juvia's liquid body, instantly killing her. That's quite possibly the best method I can think of, but if you guys can think of any other good methods for Lapis to finish off Juvia, then let me know in the comments below. So overall, this battle may mostly be fight water with water, but aside from that, Lapis clearly has major advantages over Juvia in pretty much every category. And while Lapis can't kill Juvia with water alone, she does have her ways to get the job done. So in the end, Juvia has drowned in defeat. The winner of this battle is Lapis. Now before we wrap up this episode, I want to give an extra special thanks to the animator of this battle, Anthony Stallings. He did an amazing job animating this battle, so go check out his channel and subscribe. Not only that, but I also want to give a special thanks to the guys who helped me with the research on this battle, including Rex Fury, Bill Cipher Yoshi, and DeviantArt researchers Trident346 and Strunton. I'll give you links to all their pages in the description below. Got any ideas for Show Off Showdown? Then let me know in the comments below, and hopefully, I just might do them. Now stay tuned for the next episode of Show Off Showdown!